changed musical landscape. Many so society me, to me not live for them while me feel live. Thirteen years, a long time in anyone's life. Sure. Thirteen years in dance hall, a lifetime. Sure. Can you still be the man, although the sound of the music has changed? Yeah, the sound of the music changed, but who set the trend? Think about it. Most of the youth them were you see now, them bleach out, them full of tattoo. I owe that. I can't tell. Any of me do a DNA right now, half a dance all of my picnic. <laughs> them can't trick me. I remember we had up, you know, because we always change your style, we always change your sound. You see, when they walk out of prison, in an orange kerchief, in that style, yeah. And right now, kerchief raised from $120 to $1,000. Just think about it. And we are the trendsetter from day one. But the kids who always listen to you, mm. they've moved on to other people, though. Yeah, they move they've on. They've moved on to other DJs who have a different sort of vibe and flow. Yeah, but think about this. If you go up on TikTok right now, who are the biggest trending artists? Vibes Cartel. Who run TikTok? The kids then. So you find so you have some 15-year-old girl and some 16-year-old girl a dance to all. She says she wants shatter. She now want a repatter. Them songs they are 20 years old, you know, Miss Samila. Them songs they are 18 years old, 21 years old. And that the kids them are vibes too. Because if you compare me to the nowadays youth them, remember Vibes Cartel that same way, the scale got tilt like this. In the same year, Bob Marley dead from 1981. And when we look for iTunes, I'm with his state, so. So that's how it go. Good music here and dead man. And great man live forever. So let me ask you up to the time, you know it's Vibes Cartel. So what did you represent to the system for them to view you as a kind of threat? Them the, well, them I say, me mash up the picnic them and I lead them astray. Some I say, me have too much influence. So, me feel like it's a combination of that. It's not the entire system, you know. Because I mean, not the system, because the system does work. I saw it go, you know. See, me then used to fight Bob Marley. And Bob Marley never sing a gun song yet. So, it was never about the lyrics. See, me then fight Bob Marley, and he never do a gun song. He never tell the girl them to wine on them head top. So, what them is that fighting for? It was always about the influence. Some people will take offense at the comparison with Bob Marley. No, no, you, no man no more than a man. I can't compare myself with all Jesus. No man no more than a man. For your walk on the earth, you're no more than me. What do you think you represent to the youth today? Legend, uncle, godfather. You did go to prison for 13 years, but the fascination preceded your incarceration. Why are people so fascinated by you? Because I do things my way, I think of that. In the same way when, when the system rises against me, I stand up on my two foot and I fight it. People respect the underdog who can fight back and win, you know. And people respect a youth who come different, so it's just a combination of a lot of things that make Vibes Cartel so appealing. Because I remember I stay a prisoner and sell gold and silver, you know, and get artists of the decade, you know, which that decade they are prison there. You were busy in prison churning out music. They want me to do Anthony Miller, I couldn't bake. I'm <laughs> 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 not a baker. <laughs> so, I'm music, I don't feel right too. As the comedian said, you have to do a one line and a peep if nobody has come. Fever! And I look if the game. <laughs> you know, but yeah, man. Plus, some we'll people were on your side in the yeah. institution who were representative of the institution. No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Did you have to hide and do it? Yeah. I love all your style, please. But you entered prison as star. Did mm. you get star treatment? I never get ill treatment. Mr. Reed, you can't take out my phone again. <laughs> what big up still. The Return Show, set to pull tens of thousands of cartel-starved fans to his first post-prison performance. He says it will be in December. Or is that too soon? Mentions a couple names he'd want alongside him on that stage. I like people still, you know. So, I don't know. Spice, you know, Skilly Bang. Are the offers coming in? Can you even take some of those calls? Yeah, man, I take the call them. I love money. The first show in December, Jamaica. We have Trinidad, we have Bahamas, 
and we are negotiate right now for Grenada and Barbados. So we'll be spinning there like tornadoes. Well, I don't give you the location, you know, but I think you know what the promoter can go one man campaign, you know, because it's a hefty sum. Yes. What are your expectations? Mr. Miller, one thing I want to tell the people them out at the airport, I want to better build some more runway. Because I said, I show you. I think the venue will about 50 to 100,000 people. And I tell you, say, when the venue is full with 100,000 people, me, me know I know 100,000 people are going outside. And I don't talk to them outside, I talk straight. And those 13 years would have taught you what lesson in particular? Time is precious. Don't play with it. And as much as you can, stay out of bad energy. Because sometimes you don't have to do nothing, you know. You can just step on a corner with your little school friend, you know. And you don't know your school friend a gunman, you know. A man come and fire be a shot and you did all your school friend escape, you know. So as much as you can, you stay out of negative energy. And, and just know that time is precious. And when it's gone, you can't get it back. You know, that's the biggest lesson. You have any political aspirations? Well, one thing I know if I run for MP, I can't lose. That's what I'm sure about. I make you leave it at that. What would be the first thing that would occur to you to say to people based on the accumulated experience of 13 years in prison? Time is so precious. You can't get it back. You can't get back money. Because I say, if I come from prison, the amount of money will get back. Although I never broke uh, <laughs> the amount of money I have to spend for fight that case. Yeah. As enough as it is, I almost make it back already. But to me, the money not even. I said, just for evil, hold my granddaughter and my hand and them things there. Them things there right now important to me. Set me free! Hey, ER! Y'all are run down the guys of youth! What you expect me to do? Love them! Tend that touch them! But I see them every day! I'm out.